Hi, this is Aya from Eon Software. I'm gonna do a quick kickstart tutorial on Vue. This is for those who've never used Vue before and perhaps other 3D software as well. Um, okay, so let's get started. So here's the Vue welcome panel. If you do know other software like Maya or 3ds Max and you wanna stick with the shortcuts from there, you can do that. Just go to interface preset, um, but we're gonna just stick with the default setting. Okay, so here's Vue. Um, on the left side, we have the objects panel. If you see a triangle on the top right, it's a fold out menu. So here we have shapes, terrains. If you see a dot, then it's a double action. So you can click on a tree and a tree appears in the main camera. So I'm gonna press delete. Um, if you click and hold, then you get the, the plant browser in this case. That's the double action. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some controls real quickly. So here are the shapes. Uh, let's just go with the pyramid. Okay, you can zoom by using your middle mouse scroll like, like that, and then you can pan using your right mouse button. We're gonna move the pyramid over. I can rotate it. I can scale it. I can scale it in one direction if I want to. So it's pretty useful stuff. And if I wanna drop it to the ground, I click on that icon on the bottom left which is pretty cool, I love that. Okay, so now we're gonna create a scene. So I'm gonna pick an atmosphere. Honolulu sounds good. So I'm gonna choose Honolulu, and we get this nice sky. On the right, there's a small preview, which is really useful when you're setting up your scene. So um, here's one terrain, we gotta add more. So if I hold the Alt key and just move the first terrain, I duplicate it. You can also use the duplicate icon above. Okay, so we have our terrains, now we'll add an ocean. And we're gonna make a layer. I'm gonna throw all the terrains in one layer in the world browser, just to keep things organized. Now we're just gonna go up on the top right. This is the object properties panel. And we're gonna click on the load material icon and go to the material browser, just so I can show you how easy it is to apply the same material to other meshes. And I'm gonna drag the terrain texture onto all of them, which is pretty cool and fast. All right, cool. So I'm going to click on this tree and hold. And I'm going to select a tropical plant. Let's see. Let's get this date palm in there. So let's put it on this little island over here. Um, it's good to ha use all your views when you're setting things up. Then I'm going to alt click and duplicate them and sort of arrange them around that area. So let's do that. Yeah, we got palms. So we got a good amount of palm trees. If I want to edit them, I can double click. They're all editable within Vue. And uh, if you make a plant in Plant Factory, for example, you can edit it in Vue, which is really nice. Sometimes it can be very useful to switch to a big view. So if you go up to the top next to the, um, the preview, this icon right here, you click on it and you get a big view and then you can click back to get a smaller view of all of them. Okay, so if you click and hold on the render icon, uh, you have all the render settings. I'm just going to put it to final and um, just make sure that the aspect ratio on the right is 69. I'll just keep it as it is. Then you render. Nice. You can click up here. Um, there's the, the render display um, that shows you your render. You can save it by right clicking or you can save it down here in the bottom right. Um, we're gonna make an animation. So we're gonna go to the clap icon to show the timeline. And then the timeline should appear on the bottom. We're just gonna move the camera closer, nothing too complicated. So we're gonna select the camera and um, we're gonna move the cursor to whatever point we want. I'm just gonna do it randomly, so I'm gonna move it forward a bit. And so, as you can see, there's a line that appears on the bottom timeline. So now the camera is animated. All right, so then the, I'm gonna click that film icon there. I'm just gonna make sure all the settings are right, um, make sure the file is going to a place that I'm familiar with, um, and then just do render animation, and you're good.